we're going to solve systems of equations using the addition method. Now to solve a system using the addition method means that when I add down, I want to get rid of either an x or a y. So let me show you what I mean. Let me rewrite these equations. 3x, 2x plus 3y equals 9, x minus y equals 4. Now when I add down, I end up with 3x plus 2y equals 13. Now what I mean by when I add down, I get rid of an x or a y, I either want 0x or a 0y so that I can solve for the other variable. But you see what happens when I add down right now, I don't get rid of an x or a y. So that means I need to do something to one or both of these equations so that when I do add down, I'll get a 0x or a 0y. Now, what I like to look for is, do I have opposite signs? This is a positive 2 and a positive 1x, so those aren't opposite signs. But I do have a positive 3 and a negative 1y, and that's good because if I multiplied this equation by 3, I would get a negative 3y here. And let me show you what's going to happen. I'm going to multiply the second equation by 3, so I'm going to have 3x minus 3y equals 12. Now on the top, I'm going to leave that one alone. 2x plus 3y equals 9. Now when I add down, 2 plus 3 is 5, so that's 5x, but positive 3y minus 3y, do you see I'll get a 0y? Then I add down and I'll get 21, because 9, 10, 11, 21. Um, but 0y is really 0, so I have 5x equals 21. Now I want to get x by itself, so I'm going to divide by 5 on both sides. So x I get to be is 21 fifths. Now a lot of you are just freaking out because you're seeing a fraction. But that's okay, we can get fraction answers. Now to get y, I can either put it back into my first equation or my second equation. I'm going to put it into the second one just because I don't have to multiply by anything. So x, again, is 21 over 5. So 21 fifths minus y equals 4. Now I want to get this negative y by itself. So I'm going to subtract 21 fifths from both sides of the equation. Okay. So I'm going to get negative y equals now, to add or subtract fractions, I need a common denominator. So 4 is over 1. I want it to be over 5. So I'm going to multiply the bottom and the top, the denominator, the numerator, by 5, which gives me 20 over 5. So negative y equals 20 over 5 minus 21 over 5. And when I um, subtract those, 20 minus 21, I get negative one-fifth. But remember, I don't want a negative y, I want a positive y. So you can either multiply both sides by negative one or divide by negative one. And I just like to divide by negative one, doesn't matter. So I get y to equal positive one-fifth. Wow, that's great. So I'm going to check it. I want to make sure that this x and y are correct. Well, since I use the second equation to figure out my y, how about I use the first equation to figure out if I'm right? So hopefully I can fit this all in here. So I'm going to take 2 times 21 fifths. Now I'm using the first equation here, so if you're curious where I'm getting this from, plus 3 times 1 fifth, and that should equal 9. So 2 is over 1, so 2 times 21 is 42 fifths plus 3 is over 1. And remember, when we multiply fractions, we just multiply straight across. So that's 3 over 5. Hopefully it's going to equal 9. So let's see. 42 plus 3 is 45 over 5. And 45 divided by 5 just so happens to be 9. So I know I did that one right.
We're going to solve this system using the addition method. Now remember, the addition method means when I add down, I need to get rid of either an x or a y. So let's see, 2x plus 6y equals 1. I'm just rewriting these equations. 4x plus 2y equals negative 3. Now let's add down. I get 6x plus 8y equals negative 2. Do you notice that I don't get a 0x or a 0y? So that means I need to either multiply the top by something or the bottom by something or both of them so that when I do add down, I get a 0x or a 0y. So let's see how I'm going to do that. Now the first thing I notice that the, is that these are both positive and these are both positive. So I know the first thing I'm going to have to do is multiply these by a negative 1 so that I have opposites. The next thing I notice is that even if these were opposites, I'm still not going to add down to get a 0x or a 0y. Now at this point, we can either get rid of the x's or the y's. It really doesn't matter. But let's get rid of the x's. So if I have a 4x here, I know that I can change 2x into a 4x by simply multiplying by negative 2. So what that means is I'm going to multiply negative 2 through everything in this parentheses. Basically, the whole line gets multiplied by negative 2. The whole equation, I should say. So I'm going to have negative 4x minus 12y equals negative 2. Now, this one's really important, and a lot of students forget to do it. You have to multiply to everything, not just the first couple numbers, OK? Now, the second one I'm just going to leave alone. 4x plus 2y equals negative 3. And the reason is, is that when I add down, do you see that negative 4x plus 4x is 0x? And that's what I wanted. Let's continue. Negative 12y plus 2y is negative 10y. And negative 2 minus 3 is a negative 5. And now I want to solve for y, so I'm going to divide by negative 10. So y equals, now a negative divided by a negative is a positive, so I have 5 tenths, which reduces to 1 half. Now once again, don't freak out that you see a fraction. Um, your answer can be a fraction. So now to get my x value, I can either plug 1 half uh, into the first one or the second equation, but I'm going to do the second equation. So I'm going to have 4x, okay, so I'm using this one right here, 4x plus 2 times y, and y we decided is a half, equals negative 3. So I have 4x plus, now 2 can be written as over 1, so 2 over 1 times 1 over 2 is 1, equals negative 3. Now I'm trying to get 4x by itself, so I need to subtract 1 from both sides of the equation. So 4x equals negative 4. Now to get x by itself, I divide by the number in front of the variable. So I'm going to divide by 4. So x equals negative 1. Now let's see if that's right. So let's check it. I'm going to check it by using the first equation. Actually, you can use either equation, but let's use the first one. So I'm going to take 2 times x, which happens to be negative 1. Now just to make the little arrow, I'm using the first equation this time plus 6 times y, which is 1 half. And hopefully, if we're right, it will equal 1. So 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. 6 we write over 1, and we multiply straight across. So we have 6 halves. Well, um, negative 2 plus, now 6 halves reduces to 3. So negative 2 plus 3 equals 1, and that checks.